morning. Welcome to day 49 of the Index Card a Day Challenge. This is day 48. And you know what that is. Okay. The newest edition. So in case you can't see or don't know where to look. Little balloon added to the bird down here. And little girl here leaning over to try to catch her as she swings in. <laughs> And that's it, that's all I've added. So let's get started on today's card. And all I have out is the same thing I had out yesterday, the same papers. The one that inspired me yesterday was this one, but I'm moving on from that. These are the three that stand out to me the most. So I'm gonna pick those and let's see what we get. I really like this area. Well, I like the whole thing, but I really am drawn to this area today. And possibly that. Or that. I think this. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to make that my background. And then after that, I don't know. I think that's really cute. I kind of want something right here though to break up that line. The only thing I saw that I remotely would want to use is this, but I'm not ready to do that yet. And then there's a little piece in here that I could have used that I might like, but I don't want to cut this paper yet. I'm not feeling that. So I went through my miscellaneous envelope and I pulled out this negative space of a heart that we used in another card. And I like the colors on here. So I'm thinking about using pieces of the heart. All right, we're at the point now where I don't have a clue. And by the way, this is day six off of sugar. <laughs> I'm still alive. That's a miracle. I went and revisited my scraps and pulled out anything that spoke to me based on where I'm at so far on my card. And some of the things I pulled over are things that I've recently done with the jelly print or with a recent card. So this heart was one of those. These little circles that we did the other day and this little pink flower keeps trying to pop over, but I don't think it's gonna get used today. And the little negative space where I cut out my heart. That would be cute. This I just liked for the contrast. I might put some of that on there. And I pulled over some little jelly print cutouts that we didn't use. Then my little black writing. I got a smaller piece because I thought maybe the other one was too big and I still wanna use this on something. This little flower keeps just hanging on waiting for the perfect card and so far it hasn't come along it would look really cute on here i don't think today's the day i just don't think it's time i don't know we'll see we'll see what i can come up with so i'm going to think about this for a second i just wanted to show you what i pulled over okay i've decided on this piece and these three pieces and this piece and possibly this, but I'm not sure about that yet. So we're just gonna glue down what I'm sure about. I thought I'd try to stay away from doing a flower today, but I can't, I just can't. If I see it, I've gotta do it. Plus, there's such a joy to do.
This was a piece from the other day that's been laying around and then I cut another leaf. I'm just going to put the two together just because they look cute. Okay, I'm to the point where I think I want to bring the flower and the leaves out on the card. And I have these scraps left over because I might use them. Because I have this little doodle girl that I created and just she's been sitting around and I thought she might be cute on there. But I'm not sure yet until I get my flower brought out. So I'm going to start with a pencil. I'm going to show you what I might use and then you'll know if you see it. A regular pencil, my Stabilo All pencil with a paintbrush. I wet the paintbrush and then I activate the pencil. I have China markers that I might use. I doubt that I'll use the black one. I might use the white one, but they're here just in case. And I have white watercolor pencil just in case. My Posca pens and my Versamark pens and my S gel and my Copic. This is a Versa chalk. I think I called it Versamark. It's a Versa chalk. S gel pen, Posca pens, and Copic. Okay, let's just doodle. This is fluid matte medium. I'm gonna put the tissue paper on with that. It just seems to sink into the page a little better when I use that. So I've got my little girl on there. She's just sort of in the background watching the flower grow or something, I don't know. I don't know if you noticed or not, but when I pulled the matte medium over, there's a little heart that's been sitting on the lid. I have had this sitting there for a long time, not knowing what to do with it. Just like I have a little hand <laughs> that's sitting off to the side that I haven't had a clue what to do with yet. Maybe we'll save the hand for something else. I think I'm gonna put the heart. Let's look at it on a white paper. I think that's so adorable. I just love her on there. It's a little twist you don't expect. I wonder what a frame would look like around it. Let me go get the frame and look. It covers too much of the card. I didn't leave enough space, but I'll show you. It's okay, but it's, nah. Eh, I just thought I'd see, just out of curiosity. I want to try one more thing. I want to try my Posca pen around the flower. This is just the small one. There's two sizes. This is the bigger nib. This is the smaller nib. And there are other sizes. I just don't have them. I'd like to get them. And I think maybe a little outline for her in pencil. Okay, we're done. Yesterday I forgot to sign, so I'll remember to sign today. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you have a great whatever it is, and I will see you again soon, okay? Bye-bye. There's two sizes. Oop. <laughs> Rubber bands, please.